Hi there YouTube, my name is Bobby, this is my dog Paisley, and in today's video we're going to be going over uh, a mobile truck camping setup. This is going to be part one of a three-part series. Uh, in today's video we're going to go over searching for and going to pick up. We had to go on a road trip to go get it on a six hours road trip down to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I live in western New York. Um, we go down, we pick it up, we run the we run the topper through the car wash. It was in like this the late winter, early spring, so it got pretty dirty on the drive back. Plus, I wanted to see just how watertight it was, how weather sealed it was. Then we are going to uh, work on formulating a plan to uh, to build this thing out. So we're going to like sketch up a bed area. We're going to clean the truck bed out. And then we're going to uh, just get started on the build. So this will be part one of a three-part series um, of the truck bed camper build. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So today is the next day. I have Hazy with me. She's bored already. But uh, we got the truck cap outside. We're just going to formulate a plan to uh, uh, come up with some kind of a build. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. I think what I want to do is I want to have a sleeping setup on the right. I like to sleep on my right side so then I'll be facing the rest of the cab. Um, I'm primarily going to have it set up so just one person can sleep. The middle will be kind of a void area. A little like hallway if you will and then the left side will be some kind of stacked cabinet um, I saw a YouTube video I thought it was pretty sweet uh, in the little hallway area there was a piece of plywood with some kind of like a carpet topper but there was a little runner on each side so you can set it you can lift that up put it into that channel and you can kind of double the bed space so if I have a second person with me they'll be able to have a spot to sleep in the truck too so I think the first step will be on that right side I measured out the grooves in the truck bed, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, I measured it out to be just about half inch, so I'm gonna get half inch plywood, uh, cut it to be about, I don't know, we're gonna take a measurement maybe a foot up. I wanna be high enough where I can put a drawer slide in there, but I want it to be uh, short enough that when you're laying there, you still feel like you got some space, maybe you can even sit up. Um, step one today is gonna be removing all of the stuff out of the bed of the truck, then I'm gonna get some measurements and then we will work on weather stripping it. It looked like the main area that it was leaking was the back left where kind of the window is. So, you know, just little projects. We'll work, we'll work through it though. So that's the first step. It's gonna be to empty out the truck and then um, empty out the truck, weather strip it and come up with a game plan. So take some measurements, get an idea, you know, kind of sketch it out so that uh, we have an I, I have an idea at least, and then I can help portray the idea that I'm working with. So, here we are, day two. So, just a quick sketch. This is top side looking down sleeping hallway cabinets this would be a side profile so looking like through the back of the truck just like you are now sleeping area hallway cabinets i always gotta pick a height all right so driving now to go to home depot we're gonna get the uh bedside just the bed frame done up so that will hopefully uh, 
get at least this project started. I'm gonna do it in a couple trips because I, I kind of want to make exact measurements. So first we're gonna build up the frame platform for the bed. Then we're gonna build up, take the measurements, build the slide drawer, and then we'll work on the cabinet on the left, and then that'll give us our measurement for that hallway area. Oh, jeez. That'll give us the measurements for that hallway area I was talking about before. So first trip to Home Depot, probably of at minimum three. we have here uh, just like I did to make this I sketched it up beforehand so I know what I need to buy and then I can come up with a game plan for going to Home Depot like I said it's gonna be multiple trips for me because I'm just gonna try to do a phase at a time um, I'm lucky to have a Home Depot like five minutes away from me so going there is not too big of an issue and then I can take everything off of the measurements that I make for each piece so this was the first piece I wanted to get done um, and what I plan on doing is a drawer slide in here now for storage uh, so I just had to take the measurements. The side runners are 72 inches. That's how, to, how I had them cut Just so it gave me a little bit of room back here. So it's not a totally flush finish gives me a chance to put a drawer front on um, So 72 inches long eight and three-eighths rise and then 22 and a half going this way This area I think I'm just gonna keep open maybe a little access door But just like quick grab stuff in there and then over the wheel well back there There is another little cubby that's unused right now my choice is to either just take the top off and make a little door to be able to get down and in and maybe some like stuff that I want but stuff I don't readily need. But this is going to be mostly what I'm thinking is it'll be a, a drawer that'll have half kitchen stuff for cooking and, and all that. And then the other half will be uh, general storage, probably mostly like clothing type stuff. And that still leaves this side open as well. I'm thinking of a really skinny cabinet, a little hallway type setup here. And then I'm thinking of putting a little side rail here and then a side rail on that cabinet if I end up building it. And then a uh, little platform so the walkway will then be able to hook in and then extend out the uh, sleeping platform. Probably not doing it all today. This actually might be it today. It's a beautiful day. So I might just enjoy it, take the dog for a walk. 